Hi, I'm Brian Reeves and let's talk about triggers, right? Triggers are those things like when, when somebody, like you're dating someone or you're in a relationship or you're married and your partner does something, says something, acts something out, doesn't do something, and just immediately your body goes into fight or flight, right? You either wanna get the hell out of there or you wanna step up and fight, right? You're just filled with all this stress and anger and resentment and frustration and, well, that's a trigger. They just triggered you, right? What they did is they just pointed to a wound that you have, a place in you that isn't healed, a, a, a place of you that you haven't claimed and made peace with yet, right? It's like, I mean, in our romantic relationships, it's like we're attracted to the very people who are, who are most uniquely prepared by life to fuck with us, <laughs> to do the things that are gonna trigger us, right? You got abandonment issues, watch. You can attract a partner who triggers your abandonment issues. They may not even be doing things that anyone else would say look like abandonment, but you're gonna see it as abandonment, right? They're just gonna go for a walk and not tell you about it. And you're gonna wake up from a nap and they're not gonna be in the house and you're gonna be like, oh my God, my partner's abandoned me. They just went for a walk. I'm talking to you, Brian Reeves, five-year-old child. <laughs> so we bring those things, those things that happen to us, you know, uh, young in life, uh, 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 mom or dad didn't love you enough. Well, you're gonna attract a partner who doesn't quite love you enough, right? Why are we doing this, right? Why do we partner with people who act in ways that make us crazy, right? And so this person is drawn into your life to help you see your wounds. Carl Jung talked about how our healing takes place on the path of our psychic wounds. And of course, of course. I mean, our psychic wounds, meaning the wounds of our mind, of our psyche, right? That's where the healing has to take place, where we reclaim our parts and our wholeness, right? So this person you've got in your life, again, they're showing up and they're doing things and they're triggering you and you're getting all this charge of anger. Well, the practice if we're going to heal that, right, the practice is to keep our hearts open, even when that trigger hits. Because it's not about your partner. This is not about that person being a certain way. I mean, they may be that way. Who knows? That's their business. They're on their own journey, too. You know, but your partner is innocent. They're innocent in their ignorance, just as you all, if, just as you are. If we knew how to do this stuff better, don't you think we would do it better? We don't do relationships poorly just because we're bored. Right? So we're all innocent in our ignorance. And we're sent to each other as teachers to show us where our wounds are so that we can heal them. And that's what your partner's doing. That's what a trigger is. So when that charge comes up and that anger and that, that, that frustration and, and that energy, that is a signal to you to keep your heart open. That's what a trigger is. It's an invitation to keep your heart open. That's what spiritual practice is. Right? What David Data talks about. Spiritual practice is keeping your heart open even when life doesn't show up the way you want it to. Even when everything around you would be, would be demanding you close your heart. The capacity to keep your heart open anyway. And that's how we heal our wounds, right? By breathing into the trigger, by recognizing, not projecting that it's my partner's terrible or mean or nasty or a rat or whatever language I've been called by my girlfriends before, right? <laughs> this is about, uh, it's about healing our own stuff, doing our own work, keeping our heart open in the face of our pain. Right? One of my teachers said, actually a few of them, never leave a relationship in anger. I didn't understand what that meant. Of course, if there's abuse, get out. If there's a safety issue, get out. But if you're leaving a relationship in anger, you're not getting the lesson. Right? That charge, that anger, that, that whatever that is, it's there to teach you something about you. Something unhealed in you. It's a gift for you. That partner that's triggering all that stuff in you is a gift for you. So ask the question, what am I supposed to learn from this? Right? When you feel yourself projecting onto your partner about how they are, well, notice, well, how am I feeling in this? What's going on here for me? 
why am I staying in relationship to a partner who acts in these ways that make me feel this way? What wound am I trying to heal here? And then when you identify that, if it's abandonment or, or trust or uh, whatever the, all the other issues might be that you might be, be really working with to heal, breathe into that. Keep your heart open. That's the path. And that's what triggers are there for. Your partner is a gift. Those triggers are a gift. They a bitch too, but they're a gift. Have fun out there.